images that appear in this video do not belong to me and belong to their respective copyright owners. Thank you. The album Anthem of the P Peaceful Army by Greta Van Fleet is of all the albums on the top 25 worst albums list of 2018, the one with the most divided opinion. And this divide is not from the quality of the album, like almost every other one on the list, but of the discussion of is this album a tribute to the band, like Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and Guns N' Roses, or is it a bland ripoff of them? Of the 191 users that at scored this album, the split is obvious considering there are scores that go from 90 to under 30, all of which state the quality of the album while saying in some way or another that they feel that it treads too closely to many songs written by Led Zeppelin. The argument I have for is this a tribute or a ripoff of these bands is rather simple. The line, the cross when it comes to a tribute or ripoff is very hard to tell, but with this, I can assure you that it is not a ripoff. Though many of the songs on the album are similar to songs written by Led Zeppelin in the past, they are not the same completely. Many of them have different speeds and tempos from the songs that are related to by Led Zeppelin. They also have different lyrics and su subjects of matter. Like, Led Zeppelin is more aggressive with subject matter, while Va Greta Van Fleet is more peaceful and talks of, of a feeling such as a girl getting away. Another argument to add to this is that today, today, many of the most popular songs have all used the same four chords. This goes from the likes of the Beatles to Green Day, and none of them are accused of ripping each other off. This is because there are only so many combinations of chords that can be written, so they find the one that sounds the best and use it in a different key to match their songs. If you want to hear about this more in depth, I recommend you watch Every Song Uses the Same Four Chords by The Axis of Awesome, another YouTube channel. <clears throat> Though I agree that this album is heavily inspired by the likes of Led Zeppelin, I believe that it th that is what makes it worth listening to. This album is simple and pleasant to listen to. It doesn't try anything weird, and that's why it's the perfect album to introduce people to hard rock. They stick to their roots and wear their inspirations on their sleeves like any other good hard rock album. They use their emotions to fuel their songs, and they build upon what was laid down by their predecessors, such as Led Zeppelin and ACDC. <clears throat> That is why I feel it'd be the perfect album to introduce a new listener of hard rock. It, it will give them a general idea of what hard rock is and what to expect in the future. <clears throat> Finally, I believe you should listen to this album at least once to experience the skill and talent shown by the band's members. Even those who have given it a low score agreed that these musicians were extremely talented and were worth listening to and were hoping for more in the future. They bear the heart of rock and roll throughout their music completely. They are by definition what a rock album should be. And that is why I believe you should consider listening to Anthem of the Peaceful Army by Greta Van Fleet.